So I have a bit of a problem. I'm flying to Dubai in a few weeks and I want to take 15 fragrances. I know guys, I know that 15 is a little bit obsessive, but look, I need your help. I need to whittle this down to about 10 fragrances. So I'm making this video with all of the options and hopefully you guys can help me decide which ones to take because I literally want to take them all. I did put up one of those little poll thingy-majiggies to see if you guys actually cared about what fragrances I'm taking to Dubai and you guys did. So I thought, let me share all of the fragrances I'm considering taking with me to Dubai. Hopefully all my best friends out there can help me figure out which ones I'm gonna take. I've got about 15 here. Need to probably whittle it down to 10, but realistically, do I need 10 fragrances to go on a seven day holiday? Probably not, Lauren, but I'm a bit extra. <laughs> so you see all of my bikinis that have got those Brazilian cuts, you know, the high leg and booze just popping. Imagine the scenes when I turn up in that bikini wearing fragrance bois ou gin intense. There is absolutely no way that I am going to Dubai and not taking this fragrance. Guys, I bought a backup bottle. I have two. So there's just, there's no way. There's no way. I think that this is one of my top fragrances in my collection in terms of scent factor. It's not my absolute favorite, but the scent, there is just something about that tiari flower, that tropical fruits vibe, the vanilla, that just drives me a little bit up the wall if I'm on it. I'm just addicted to it to be honest and there's this like naughty twist to it, I'm not sure what it is, maybe it's the oud, but that naughty twist, whatever it is, is what makes this fragrance so special to me. Oh, I'm just deep that I have to actually get through 15 fragrances in this video, I have to get through them quick, but yeah, it's a no-brainer, I'm absolutely taking Ujin Intense with me to Dubai. Are you guys team lads holiday or team vacation? Me personally, I'm all about the lads holiday, I'm not gonna lie to you. But I mean, if you guys have been following me for a while, then you guys know that my love life has been a bit of a shambles this year. I've been for the streets in 2021, but the streets are getting a little bit cold. The jungle is mad. So I think I'm ready to retire from the streets now, guys. And who knows, I might meet my husband in Dubai. We might share a little intimate moment over a puff of shisha and eating some Parmesan fries or whatever. If I wanna secure a husband in Dubai, then initial side effects is a program that I'm gonna wear to do those things. And I am just gonna glaze over this fragrance because I'm so aware that I talk about this all the time and you guys are probably like, Lauren, why are you rinsing out and deading out the fragrance? I hope that I'm not deading it out, but I can't lie to you and pretend that this is not my favorite fragrance and just let it catch dust on my channel. Are you mad? Yeah, I'm taking this. So the weather in Dubai is absolutely baking and I actually don't know how I'm gonna survive but, Light Blue Intense, this is about to keep me as cool as a cucumber. Light Blue Intense is just one of my favorite summer fragrances in the entire world. It's lemony, it's apple-y, it's musky, it's incredibly sexy. It's just a staple, okay? I could not be without this in the hot weather, and this is why I'm 100% taking this with me to Dubai. So, I'm gonna start wrapping this up in my socks now, because me be without this in the high heat. You must be mistaken. What? Can you imagine the scenes when I wear Nishane Nefs? Listen, I'm gonna shut down the desert, rude boy. This scent has so much vim. It's like it has superpowers or something. When I wear it, it's like I could part the Red Sea like Moses or something if I wanted to. Wouldn't really wanna use my superpowers to do that because who knows, could cause a tsunami in another country and I'd feel so guilty for days. Neffs really does have this Middle Eastern smell but with some kind of Western touches. It's oud but then it's boozy, it's vanilla, it's spicy. It really does smell very complex and it's very, very opulent. And it smells a little bit luxurious so I can imagine myself wearing one of those really kind of, you know those silky dresses that kind of snatch you a little bit. Some stripper ass heels, but more of like a classy kind because I don't want to look like a stripper. That is when I would wear Nisha Neffs essentially, when I'm fully dressed up, I'm looking bomb.com. Yep, it's coming with me to Dubai 100%, but I don't know if I can take the bottle with me. I'm gonna have to like decant it or something. So when you're packing fragrances for a holiday, you want something that is gonna smell like vacation in a bottle. And Kayali Utopia Vanilla, here we go again. Kayali's Utopia Vanilla Coco 21 is a vacation in a bottle kind of fragrance. So I'm gonna be on the streets in Dubai, I'm gonna be in my bikini. Said you belong to the streets, to the streets, on me, it's like on me. That's one of my favorite songs from that album, but Utopia has this very 
sunscreen kind of vibe to it. It's very coconutty, quite citrusy, but it's got some sweetnesses. Sweetnesses? Is that a word? Is that a word? I don't think so. Uh, it's got this sweetness from the vanilla, but this fragrance kind of reminds me of Sole Blanc from Tom Ford. But I actually prefer this as Sole Blanc in my opinion. The kind of fragrance I'm going to chuck on when I've got my bikini on. You know, when you use those glow products that have got all the little gold bits. I'm so excited to get that on me. I love to glow, honey. But yes, this fragrance is just perfect for, you know, those chilling by the beach kind of days. This is 100% coming with me. To Dubai. Oh my god, guys, I have to take my absolute favorite Zerzhoff of all time, Zerzhoff Ivory Root, duh. And this is another fragrance that is more for the nighttime, you know, even though this is considered more of an autumn winter fragrance. In Dubai, their winter is our summer, so it is going to be really hot out there, but I me mean, not care. I've come to deep that I have no respect, you know. Most normal people will wear summer fragrances when it's hot outside or like more appropriate fragrances for hot weather. Me, I'm just like, no, fuck it. I'm just gonna wear whatever I want. <laughs> Ivory Rue is a gorgeous spicy vanilla fragrance. It's got a lot of spices in it. There's a lot of conflicting spices going on in this fragrance. You get some warm spices in this fragrance, but then you also get more of like a fresh aromatic spice to this as well. I also get some patchouli nuances to this. I find this fragrance very, very intoxicating. It was a love at first sniff for me. This is just... <laughs> Jesus Christ. The way that bottle dropped. I literally saw my life flash before my eyes. It's okay, it's okay, it's safe, it's safe, it's safe, it's okay. I'm sorry. Blood clot, that was close, wasn't it? But anyways, Ivory Root is just ultimate luxury for me and I will 100% be taking this with me to Dubai, no questions asked. So I only wanna take one or two summery floral fragrances and it was between Love Don't Be Shy Extreme, YSL Atlas Garden, which I absolutely love, but I don't really wanna take that with me. I settled on taking Mimo Paris Sintra because I didn't really get to wear this this much this summer and I absolutely adore this and I think that this is just the perfect fragrance for the Dubai heat. It has got a little bit of that love don't be shy DNA with the marshmallow note in the base but then this is a lot more fresher, brighter, uplifting, there's a lot more citruses, there's also this green note to it at the top from the petagrain which again as I said I think that this is going to be the most appropriate floral fragrance that I can take to Dubai with me to wear during the day. But yeah, again, this 100% has come with me to Dubai, like 100%. I'm not gonna leave this behind. Another fragrance that is on my Dubai list is Widian's Lewa. Guys, can I just ramble on a little bit? I actually, today, thought that I lost my bottle of Widian's Lewa. Can you believe it? I was having a mental breakdown. I was looking all over my room for my bottle of Widian's Lewa. I started to think about calling some sort of helpline, you know, because I was thinking to myself, wow, I may have left this in Manchester. I was like, rah, that hotel cleaner's gonna be smelling banging when she finds this. I found it, thank God I didn't leave it in Manchester because I will be taking this with me to Dubai. What better fragrance can I wear in the evening time than Williams Lewa, please? I haven't actually spoken about this fragrance in a while, but don't get it twisted. I still absolutely adore this fragrance. This is a gorgeous spicy amber fragrance. It's got this kind of like fresh, spicy, aromatic kick to it, a lot of saffron. It's kind of in a similar ballpark as Baccarat Rouge 540 and Initio's You for Greatness. But in my opinion, I think that this is the best one of the three. I actually did a comparison video of Baccarat Rouge 540, Winnie and Zlewa, and Initio's You for Greatness. If you want to see that video, I'll link it in my description. But essentially, I want to smell like a worldie. This is going to make me smell like a worldie, so I will be taking this to Dubai as well. I bet you guys are sitting there and you're laughing and you're like, Lauren, how is the video not over yet? You've got so many fragrances here. I literally have no control. I am a true fragrance obsessed person. Anyways, another floral that I must take to Dubai, okay? I must take it. It's Killian's Good Girl Gone Bad. I absolutely adore this fragrance. You guys know that I wore this a lot this summer and it was one of my favorite fragrances of this year, actually. Stunning, stunning white floral that has this apricot-y kind of vibe to it and quite a uh, ambery, seductive base. It's gonna smell absolutely off the chain. 
in Dubai. Like, imagine I'm on, like, some sort of yacht party and I wear this. I'm gonna shut down the place. It's gonna be a mazaline. Love the word mazaline because it's, like, maza and you just put in, like, yin at the end to, like, make it sound a bit, like sexy or whatever. Did you guys think that I forgot about taking Nishan A Annie with me? Of course I'm gonna take this with me. I plan to wear Annie during the day, you know, maybe not for like beach days. I'll probably wear my citruses and my like florals, but this will be worn when maybe I go to Dubai more. Maybe if I go like for lunch somewhere and I just wanna smell really, really nice, I will be taking this with me too. Yes, I will. One of my favorite date fragrances, We'll be taking it to Dubai because you never know. May go on a date. <laughs> okay, so I have a new fragrance in my collection that I didn't share in my last perfume haul because it came a little bit after. I only got this about a week ago, but this is Killian Single Malt. I got it! Yay! Um, let's just say that this is a banger of a gourmand. It's plum, it's malt, it's got this like vanilla woody dry down, which makes it sound really boring to be honest doesn't it but i promise you it's not it's really really good it does smell quite similar to apple brandy the original version not that watered down stuff but yeah it does smell like the original apple brandy but this is a lot more sweeter it's it's absolutely gorgeous and i haven't actually worn this properly yet so i really do want to take this to dubai i will be taking this to dubai guys can you please help me because how am i going to whittle this down to 10 fragrances and even 15 i'm feeling like god that's a bit of a stretch what about if i want another five right so we have flower botanica by balenciaga that will be in my suitcase. There's no way that I can't take this to Dubai. This is a really stunning, fresh, rosy, watery, rosy kind of fragrance. The rose, as I said, very watery, very ethereal. There's a kind of greenness to the rose as there's like a mint and cannabis note in this. Absolutely blood clot stunning, this one. Taking light blue intense, so I'm gonna layer this with light blue intense. Though, though, I just had a brainwave. I, do I need light blue intense and this? Ooh, I was also considering taking Greedy Or, but I have a really big bottle, so I might just take like a little decant of it. But ooh, do I need both? Probably not, guys, probably not. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, last two fragrances and I'm done. So I have to take Dior Addict with me. Because when I smell Dior Addict, it really does convey luxury, dressed up, looking sexy, looking like a bad bee, gonna steal your man. I'm joking about that part. Um, this is a really stunning vanilla that has this really kind of indolic jasmine in the heart. But the best way to describe this vanilla is really smooth and buttery. Oh. Just smelling it now is like, I've really missed this scent because I haven't worn this in ages, but an absolute stunner and I have to take this to Dubai with me. This is the last one, guys. So I have to take all Mon Jane Raw Elixir with me because this is an absolute belter and this is a scent that really just turns heads and commands attention. Oh, it is so stunning. It's this beautiful, very like indolic jasmine. It's like some ambery nuances to it. It's, oh, amazing. I'm definitely taking this with me as well. Guys, I'm gonna need your help. So I've spoken about 15 fragrances and we need to whittle this down to about 10. Because realistically, Lauren, you're gonna be drunk the whole time. You don't need 15 fragrances. You need about 10. So what you can do to really help me is choose 10 fragrances from this video that you think I should take to Dubai. Or if it's easier, let me know the fragrances. You're like, mm, Lauren, nah, don't take it to Dubai. Please, please help a sister out because I'm struggling. And we have such a good relationship. Like, you guys can be honest with me. I can buy you a McDonald's to say thank you. I don't know how I'm going to be able to afford to buy all of you McDonald's because Dubai... It's expensive, oh my god! Anyway guys, before you leave, don't forget to leave this video a massive thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!